Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. And uh, today I came up with a quite interesting scenario here. Okay, let's let's dig into this. So here I have one employee information, who is the employee ID, and their basic joining dates when they joined the company. So what I want to calculate here is the number of years they are there in this company. Right? From the today's date, I want just want to calculate whether they have uh, in the company for last six years, seven years, eight years, nine years. Whatever may be right. So if you want to create a column here, say number of year, right? So I have a function which is my date diff. Okay, I will take my joining date, comma today, and year out of the T year. This is absolutely fine. If you click on this. It will just calculate. The problem here is that when you are extracting the number of years, okay, just see this guy has joined on somewhere around May 6th, okay. This guy joined on July, sorry, June. This guy joined on April. This guy joined on April. This is March. This is somewhere around July. Now, if we compare to the year, this is fine, seven years, but does it really he complete the six, seven years? No, because if you compare to the month level, no, we are running on the fifth month. Now, on which month you are running? We are running on the second month, which is February. So, ideally, this guy should consider the six years. It should not be seven years. He's not yet complete the seven years, right? And where is the last one? If you take the seventh employee, 15 0 t 2016. That is correct. This should be already. We passed that date in a month as well. So we need to consider the date, the month, whether that is past date is from our current date today. So we need to compare everything in this so that I can compare the year. That is my requirement. Okay. Let's do that. How to do that? I think you got the requirement. Okay. I'm just putting a little bit space here. So I will write a if statement here. Okay. There could be n number of ways, but this is one way I found relevant. Just uh, I'm checking. First, I will check the month of my joining date. Okay, whether it is greater than my month of today. That first I want to check it. Okay, that I want to check it first. Then, or or I want to put a bracket here and I will check again whether the month of my joining date is equals to my month of month of today. Right? And again I will check at a day level. Day of my joining date is greater than day of today. If all this condition satisfy, just wrap this around a single condition here so that it will be easier for me to understand. If first what we are checking, whether the month of the joining date is greater than month of today. So we are on second uh, month of current today, right? If it is more than that or Again, if this is satisfied, if it is greater than that, then it will check whether the month of the joining date, the employees, is equals to today, is it equals to today, and this will check it. If it is not satisfying this condition, it will go to the OR condition, it will check whether those are equal, and based on the check the date also, right? Based on that, if this is satisfied, I'll put a comma here, and I will write the date diff I will put minus 1 else I will say this then if you see if you enter it um, what happened what is there fail to resolve the today where
just give me a second guys on top today okay and Let me just a uh, little bit space I'm saying. Okay. This is fine inside that. Month of today. Greater than month of employee joining date is equals to month of today and day of employee joining date is greater than day of today. And if this is satisfied this is okay why this is getting an error here uh, today is not a valid table or variable or a function why 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 Okay, here the problem is this is just like a today it is there. Okay, it should be the function today here. Okay, now let's enter now it will work out. Yes, that's the issue. Now if you see all the records are six number appears and the last one it is seven. So let's try to identify one record we will take six five two thousand sixteen. Let's take an example and we will try to observe that why it is six years now. So let me net six five two thousand sixteen right. So here let's take what we are doing. The month of the employee joining date is greater than month of today. What is the month of the joining date for this fifth? So here it is saying zero five is greater than zero two month of today. Yes, it is satisfying. Okay, either it is satisfying. If it is satisfying. Directly it will it will not check all right either of the condition is true. So either this condition is true or this condition is true So if it is there if it is true directly it is going and it is taking the year difference and it is just giving a minus one Right, that's it. It is true. correct same. Let's take another example here Another example. Let's take 17 06 2016 right if it is this, this is the case, right? So here it will be six greater than two, right? And it will just do it relatively. Let's take an example where the seventh record was coming. Fifteen zero two sixteen. Sorry. Fifteen zero two two thousand sixteen. This is the data I have, right? So here let's take. Now here in this case, the month of the joining date is 0 2 and month of the today also 0 2. It is satisfying? No. 0 2 is not greater than 0. Then it will go to the next record. So here the first condition, the 0 2 equals to 0 2? Yes, it is equals to. So 0 2 equals to 0 2 and day of, what is the day today? 15th. Of the joining date right so it will consider the 15th as your joining date and what is the date today 16 okay so here this is satisfying this is true but this is not true this is not true so there is an end condition right so this condition will not work out so uh, this condition is not working then it will go to the else condition only and it will give you just the year condition based on the year only and that's why it is giving you the 7 year 2016 from 2023 alright so this formula I will put it in the description box just do try it out this one and uh, please subscribe to this channel for more interesting content like this and uh, thank you and have a nice day